Okay, so we're here today for another mascara first impression. I feel like I've not done one in a while, but I probably have actually. I, you know, I love a good mascara first impression. And the mascara that we're going to be testing today is by Rimmel, and it's the Scandalize Extreme. Extreme. I love it when they use very dramatic words for makeup. I only tried one other Rimmel mascara, and it was the Lash Accelerator Endless endless i always expect it to say like endless lashes endless volume endless extreme endless get to the end of the world with this mascara on your lashes and then your lashes will be long enough and they will wrap all the way around the earth and up to space really so i really like this one this is a brilliant mascara just for length it doesn't do much in the way of volume but for length it is a hero it's a hero for length so this is one of my favorite mascaras so i have very high hopes for the scandalize extreme this one claims to let's see right here okay so it says it's got a dual action brush that captures lashes bringing them to their max max i just find that with mascaras the descriptions are just so overly dramatic it's just insane cost 6.99 from superdrug i got it from superdrug and i got it on a buy one to get another half price which is a really good deal i picked up the extra 3d lash so this one will be coming up in a first impression soon so shall we have a look at the brush and uh, let's do it i'm going to come a little bit closer just so that you can actually see what's going on this is the first time i'm oh okay so yeah i mean the brush it's slightly humpback like a humpback whale it's just got what looked to be like rubber bristles and then it's got a weird little like opening in it almost you probably can't see it but it reminds me a little bit of the max factor the max factor i think superstar mascara it just seems to have like a little well bit in the middle it looks okay and i'm liking the fact that it's curved i'm a huge fan of the curved mascara wand because you know it just seems to contour around your eyelashes and then just flirt them out in a very flirty way it does say here as well the arch side volumizes and loads up lashes for an extreme look and then the flat side defines and lengthens lashes root to tip to rock a clump free high volume look well i think we're going to be the judge of that as always so i've got wait i've got two mirrors do you always find this right you've either got like a million mirrors or you just can't find any mirror like why do i have a mirror in each hand right now but then yesterday i just could not find a mirror to save my life like why is this who knows so anyway i'm going to go with the bigger mirror because bigger is better that's what she said she didn't say that she didn't she said it's not about anyway she said it's not about the length it's about the <laughs> okay so let's do this i see it's got a little bit of clump clump on the end okay so i mean so far i mean we're only like a second in but i'm appreciating the the rubber bristles on the wand i do find that rubber bristles are really kind of useful for getting quite a lot of precision with coating each lash my favorite mascara of the minute because it changes all the time i i'm so fickle when it comes to mascaras but my favorite one at the moment is the max factor curl addict that's the one i'll link the first impression i did on it down below i literally have been wearing nothing but that for the past week because i just love it so that's going to be kind of my benchmark for this one getting a little bit clumpy just a little bit clumpy but i'm liking the shape i'm going to go in with a little bit of like the arch side if if i can i mean it's hard to be like really specific about which side you're using with a mascara one but i'm just coating away she's coating 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 it seems to be providing me with a lot of length i've got a feeling that there's fibers in this mascara can you kind of see i don't know if you can but i've got my like lash here and then there's like a little stringy bit just like flailing about on the top 
like you know it was out to sea and it was like a funny mast by the way i'm doing a first impression today on this foundation so i know it's looking a little bit dark like i look a little bit bronzed right now i'm well aware of that by the way i know someone's going to comment down below your foundation looks orange and i'm like i know i know and i'm liking this I, i'm liking it i mean it's not doing anything kind of spectacular or outstanding but i'm kind of liking it I'm, it's getting a little bit clumpy though like i'm approaching clump town rather fast right now and i feel like the police are behind me saying i'm when slow down slow down you are going to enter into clump town and i know you don't really want to be there today i do feel like this has fibers in it it just didn't mention fibers but can you see like it just looks a little bit higgledy piggledy at the end and i just feel like that's because there's maybe fibers in it it's very clumpy it's clumping officially announced we've landed in clump town we have landed because look well like, where have my lashes gone where have my lashes gone why are they all clumping together this is not what i signed up for right now this Definitely, I think fibres in this. Look, what's going on there? What's that? What's that doing at the, the end of my lash? I, I'm entering into Clump Town, and I feel like there's fibres in here. By the way, I will do my research. I'll confirm if there are fibres in here or not. But it is merely just speculation at this point. It's not an accusation. Just speculation. This this is actually applying really nicely to this lash. Look, Clump Town over here. And then you've got like quite nice separation happening. Coated each lash and I'm a bit reluctant to go in again for a second coat because like especially over here, this is clump town. And I don't want to enter into even more clumpy town right now. So I'm just going to do the bottom lashes and then we're going to do our little finger technique. Is someone going to come in? Is somebody coming in? I can hear a little noise. <gasps> Who's that? Could it be a dinosaur? Hello? 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 Is it a dinosaur? Ah, it's a dinosaur! Ah, cheeky sausage! Got the dreaded eyebrow stamp! No! Andreas, we've got a serious case of dreaded eyebrow stamp. Can you see? Can you see dreaded eyebrow stamp on mummy's face? Yeah. What shall we do about this terrible situation? <laughs> what shall we do about this, Andreas? I don't know. Call for help. His eyes. Is that takes an eyebrow stamp? Help. He says he's coming on. <gasps> he's coming right now. Yay! Don't worry, he's coming. So anyway, yeah, pff, eyebrow stamp. I mean, really, come on. We're going to do the finger technique here. You ready? Are you ready for the big moment? Yeah. <gasps> wow, look at that. Andreas, look. The has given me so much length. I mean, it's very similar, I would say, to the Lash Accelerator Endless. Sorry about Andreas on the bed. So I do like this mascara. I think it's... Like, look at the eyebrow stamp, though. I can't really get over the eyebrow stamp. Andres, when is help coming? I thought they'd be here by now. It's not really done much for volume at all, but I'm liking the length and... I... <laughs> I like the mascara. Yes, I do. I think it's really nice. I think it's giving me really long lashes. It's not done much in the way of volume. I would recommend to you the Max Factor Curl Addict. I just think that is the bomb digs at the moment. It gives you volume, it gives curl, and it gives you length. I hope that you found this somewhat useful and I will be back soon with more reviews. Bye! Bye! Bye. For once, Andres, I look like my skin is darker than yours. Can you see? Looking quite tanned right now. What a That my eyebrow stamped, I know. I help should be coming soon, I think.